Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Are you concerned about natural and synthetic additives in processed foods? In this video, I'm sharing what is known and not known about the safety of 40 common additives in prepared and restaurant foods. Part 1 covers the artificial sweetener esulfan potassium to a variety of gums. Part 2 begins with high fructose corn syrup and concludes with transglutaminase. Prepared and restaurant foods are made with hundreds of synthetic additives. For example, fine ingredients include artificial colors and flavors, gums, emulsifiers, and preservatives. Ingredients rarely found in home-cooked foods. Fast foods and some casual restaurant foods have more synthetic additives than home-cooked foods. Here are consumer and restaurant versions of mashed potatoes made by the same company. The consumer version has Idaho potatoes with an emulsifier and preservatives. Their restaurant version has Idaho potatoes with the same emulsifier and preservatives. You also get added salt, RBD sunflower oil, nonfat dry milk, artificial color, artificial flavor, and it's formulated to hold up to four hours on a restaurant steam table. Many people believe these food additives, natural and synthetic, are thoroughly tested and safe. For most people, moderate amounts of synthetic food additives is safe. Based on safety data, the US FDA can limit the amount of some food additives, but nutrition labels and restaurant menus are not required to disclose those limits. The FDA maintains a list of additives generally regarded as safe, but the key word is generally. According to the FDA, monosodium glutamate is generally regarded as safe. People sensitive to MSG can have mild to severe reactions to this additive. Salt is generally regarded as safe. Diets providing too much salt or sodium can increase the risk of hypertension. For decades, food manufacturers have lobbied the U.S. Congress to deregulate the industry. In 1993, the FDA relaxed the requirements for newly developed food additives and allowed manufacturers to bypass the grass list. As a result, prepared foods can have hundreds of untested or poorly tested synthetic additives. When the American diet was mostly home-cooked meals, synthetic food additives was not a major problem. Today, many Americans eat a diet of mostly prepared foods. Some prepared foods, even so-called health foods, have more synthetic ingredients than natural ingredients. In addition to pesticides used to grow food crops, Prepared foods can have dozens of poorly tested synthetic additives. I'll begin with the artificial sweetener acylfan potassium, also known as ACE-K. It's used in a wide variety of low-calorie and diet foods. You may think any ingredient with potassium is safe since potassium is an essential mineral ACE-K is an artificial sweetener about 200 times sweeter than sugar. It's used instead of sugar in low and no calorie energy and protein drinks and in processed foods. Safety tests date back to the 1970s before ACE-K became a popular artificial sweetener used in hundreds of prepared foods and beverages. ACE-K is easily passed from mother to child in breast milk. Pregnant and lactating women should consider avoiding artificial sweeteners, including ACE-K. Aloe vera is used in foods, beverages, and dietary supplements. It's made from the succulent of the same name. 
In addition to being a food additive, it's used in skincare products. Aloe vera is used to treat burns and wounds and has a laxative effect. There's no proof it reduces the risk of breast cancer, lowers blood sugar, or relieves heartburn. In 2002, the FDA banned aloe vera from over-the-counter laxatives due to insufficient safety testing. Due to limited safety testing, you may want to limit aloe vera to external uses only. Annatto is a natural food coloring commonly added to yellow cheeses like cheddar and organic boxed mac and cheese. Anato is made from the seeds of a tropical shrub. It's used as a natural substitute for artificial yellow and orange food coloring. Because something is natural or organic does not mean it's 100% safe for everyone. Anato can cause hives in some people. Some foods have a combination of artificial and natural food colors. Artificial colors are used in hundreds of prepared foods. The most commonly used colors are blue, green, red, and yellow. Lake is an artificial color that is soluble in fat instead of water. Artificial colors are synthetic petroleum-based dyes that have been used for decades. They're used primarily in highly processed, low nutrition value foods. This store bakery cinnamon roll is made using eight artificial colors. Artificial colors are known to cause hyperactivity in some children, so children should limit foods made with artificial colors. Like artificial colors, artificial and natural flavors are used in hundreds of processed foods. Most foods and beverages are highly processed and low nutrition value. Both artificial and natural flavors are 100% synthetic. The difference is natural flavors are made using chemicals from natural ingredients. True natural flavors, like extracts, disclose their ingredients. Artificial and natural flavors are guarded proprietary trade secrets. Ingredients lists can have artificial and natural flavors without disclosing the chemicals used to make the flavor. A natural flavor can contain MSG or other allergen, and there's no requirement to disclose this information. Some natural flavors are made using animal products that some vegetarians may want to avoid. Aspartame is an artificial sweetener used in hundreds of prepared foods. The safety of aspartame has been debated since its introduction in 1981. Like most artificial sweeteners, it's about 200 times sweeter than sugar. Occasional use appears to be safe, but like other artificial sweeteners in processed foods and beverages, it's difficult tracking total daily consumption. Azo decarbonamide is used primarily in bread products made from refined white flour and a flour bleaching agent. Commercial bakers have used ADC and AZA for decades, but its use has declined in recent years. During baking, ADC produces low levels of urethane. Urethane is a known carcinogen. Breads made without ADC also has some urethane, but not as much as ADC bread products. With so many choices without ADC, there's no reason to buy bread products made with it. Butylated hydroxyanisole is found primarily in fast foods and highly processed foods. BHA is an antioxidant that slows rancidity in oils, fats, and foods containing oils and fats. 
The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services classifies BHA as reasonably anticipated to be a human carcinogen. The U.S. FDA considers BHA to be generally regarded as safe. This allows makers of low-cost prepared foods to use BHA instead of costlier vitamin E or omitting it entirely. Butylated hydroxytoluene, BHT, is used for the same reason. BHA and BHT can often be found in the same food item. They're used to extend shelf life. Most frozen foods can be stored one or more years without chemical preservatives. Caffeine has become an increasingly popular food and beverage additive. Caffeine is a mildly addictive drug. Adding it to foods and beverages can increase cravings for those foods and beverages. It's also a mild diuretic. Caffeine occurs naturally in coffee, tea, and cocoa. Caffeine has zero calories and is added to zero and high-calorie energy drinks to increase energy and alertness. High levels of caffeine, more than 400 milligrams daily, can cause insomnia, jitters, and increase the risk of miscarriage and birth defects. Caramel color is one of the most widely used food colors. Natural caramel is made with melted white sugar and butter. It's rarely used as a food additive. Most foods and beverages use a synthetic caramel color made by heating high dextrose corn syrup with ammonia compounds, acids, and alkalis. There are synthetic caramel colors made without ammonia compounds, but there's no requirement to identify which has been added to a food. Caramel colors made with ammonia can be contaminated with 2-MI and 4-MI that may increase the risk of cancer. Any cancer risk depends on your health and the amount of additives in your diet. Carboxymethylcellulose, also known as CMC and cellulose gum, is added to a variety of foods and beverages. It's made by reacting cellulose with acetic acid. It's considered safe for most people, but a 2015 study by the National Institutes of Health found CMC can affect gut bacteria. It can also cause inflammatory bowel disease type symptoms. People with IBS and other bowel disorders should consider avoiding foods with cellulose. The FDA allows adding CMC as a dietary fiber, but there's little evidence it provides the same health benefits of natural fiber. Carrageenan is a common ingredient in processed dairy products like ice cream and cottage cheese. It's also used in infant formula, salad dressings, and many other products. Made from seaweed, it's a gelling, thickening, and stabilizing agent. Small amounts appears to be safe for most adults, but it may cause or increase gastrointestinal problems in some people. More studies are needed about the effects of carrageenan on infants. Corn syrup is a sugar added to many prepared foods. It's also known as glucose syrup since it's primarily glucose. Dextrose is a man-made form of glucose. Corn syrup is made by treating corn starch with acids or enzymes. It's been used for decades in both home-cooked and commercial foods. Corn syrup is used in both dried and liquid form. Corn syrup, like sugar, supplies empty calories and is added to many high-calorie foods. As I've just mentioned, dextrose is a man-made form of glucose added to many processed foods. 
Dextrose made from corn sugar is chemically identical to glucose. Its uses range from an additive to iodized salt to prevent potassium iodide from oxidizing, to an added sugar in highly processed foods adding empty calories and no essential nutrients. Diacetyl is used to give products a butter flavor. It's one of the chemicals that gives butter its distinct flavor. It's added to unsalted butter as a natural flavor to prolong shelf life. Diacetyl gives processed foods its butter flavor without using real butter. The low levels of diacetyl added to foods is safe for most people. Factory workers and restaurant cooks exposed to high levels can develop obstructive lung disease. Fructose is a sugar added to beverages and processed foods. It's a natural sugar that is slightly sweeter than refined white sugar. It gives ripe fruit its sweet taste. It also occurs naturally in vegetables. Refined white sugar is 50% fructose and 50% glucose. It's added to some foods as a healthier alternative to sugar and high fructose corn syrup. Like other added sugars, fructose is added to high calorie, low nutrition foods. Unlike fructose from fruits and vegetables, providing fiber, vitamins, minerals, and hundreds of other nutrients. Ginkgo biloba is usually added to beverages to boost memory. It's claimed to improve memory and thinking. Most studies in healthy people at higher levels than added to beverages showed little or no benefits. What is known is that ginkgo biloba may interfere with blood clotting, Avoid beverages with it before or after surgery, childbirth, or if you have bleeding problems. Guarana is added to prepared teas and energy drinks. It's a stimulant. Seeds of the guarana plant have about twice the caffeine of coffee beans. It's added to beverages as a natural source of caffeine. To avoid side effects, total caffeine should be limited to 400 mg daily. Excess caffeine can cause anxiety, insomnia, and jitters. There are several types of gums added to a wide variety of highly processed foods. Gums are made from natural sources like trees, shrubs, seaweed, and bacteria. They're used in a wide variety of low-cost yogurts and low-calorie salad dressings as a stabilizer or emulsifier. Gums thicken foods by reducing cooking times and increasing water content. While gums are generally safe, they're used primarily in low-quality, low-nutrition value foods. Next week, I'll bring you another 20 common food additives. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.